Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a review of the Nikon D600. With a full frame 24 megapixel sensor, excellent ergonomics, and a price tag of $1,000 or less than its rivals, let's take a look at what it's all about. At first glance, the D600 looks just like every other reasonably high end DSLR out there big, bulky, and filled with buttons. Start shooting with it, however, and the ergonomics quickly fall into place, just like the D7000. I've got a few little issues, like the button to change ISO is on the back of the camera, but for the most part it's solid and significantly lighter than the D800 and D4. There are some nice features with the D600. In addition to your standard modes, you can also program presets and save them to U1 and U2, which can be a huge help. For example, you can have one mode for shooting macro and instantly switch to shooting portraits without having to dial all of your settings in again. Having a pair of SD card slots is also convenient, as SD cards really are good enough to replace CF for most people. I shoot a lot of video every day, so most of the time I use the D600 in my studio. With a full frame sensor and manual control over your video, you can get some really excellent looking results out of the D600. It shoots in 1080p at 30 frames per second and 720p at up to 60 with a bitrate of 21 megabits per second at 1080p. Files stay nice and clean even at higher ISO, and you have manual control over everything but aperture and live view. If you're upgrading from a crop sensor camera, one nice thing is that DX lenses work fine, with video still recorded at 1080p and just pulled off a cropped portion of the sensor. You'll find both microphone in and headphone out for monitoring, which is a big help, but what's a bit disappointing is the HDMI output. Nikon advertises it as uncompressed HDMI out, but some people will find it's only 95% coverage. I record to the camera, so it's nothing that bothers me, but hopefully it's something that can be resolved via firmware update. Speaking of an update, there are some issues software can fix. For example, the excellent U1 and U2 modes are mostly ignored when in movie live view, where they work perfectly for stills. Image quality is fantastic, as you would expect from a full frame Nikon. With 24 megapixels to work with, it hits a nice sweet spot between the D4 and D800, and is honestly way more than most people need. You can easily crop shots down to 10 megapixels and still have plenty of resolution to work with. Color is very good, however you may need to do some tweaking to get it perfect, as it tends to be a bit greener than I like. Low light performance is absolutely top notch, comparing well with even the D800. I had no problem shooting at ISO 3200 with a perfectly acceptable amount of noise. Even 6400 is entirely usable, although there is a fair bit of noise if you look closely, and it's expandable out to 25600. You'll also find a time lapse mode built in which works very well. It's easy to set up and the results can be very, very impressive. The D600 will shoot at 5.5 frames per second, a significant jump over the D800. While it's nothing on the D4, it's perfectly respectable and good enough for all but the most serious of action shooters. The viewfinder has 100% coverage and is a massive improvement over DX cameras. One thing that isn't terrific is the autofocus. It's got 39 points which work perfectly fine, but all the points are clustered in the center of the frame. It isn't something all that out of the ordinary on full frame cameras however, so I don't mind too much. Overall, the Nikon D600 is an incredible camera. While it's not targeted at pros, I can see it replacing a D700 or D800 thanks to its lighter weight, excellent ergonomics, and almost perfect megapixel count. It works well for video as is, and provides image quality that's on par with even the D4, which costs nearly three times as much. For a camera aimed at enthusiasts, Nikon absolutely nailed it with the D600. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.